guys welcome back smitha here in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to create this simple polished holiday look inspired by none other than kim kardashian but of course minus the tank top and uh, you know the wet face and whatnot because this is going to be more christmas appropriate and i will be creating the entire look using only drugstore products so if you're ready let's begin let's start with some skincare i'm going to be using the pixie h2o skin drink which is a gel that rejuvenates that cools refreshes and it's a super hydrating gel almost like a moisturizer so i'm going to be applying this all over my face and neck And let's not forget the lips. For that, I'm going to be using the Milani lip balm. You can use any lip balm. You can also use Vaseline. For primer, I'm going to be using one of my favorites from yesteryears. Can I say that? This is the NYX Photo Loving Primer, which I used to use so often. It's, it's a silicone-based primer. As soon as you apply it, you can feel how smooth your skin becomes. It fills in all those fine lines and pores. So anything that you apply over it will glide on so smoothly over your skin. And it feels just so damn good and then using the orange corrector from the conceal palette well this is not really an orange corrector it's more of a peachy toned concealer that i'm using works the same way i'm going to use it in areas where i have uneven skin tone like under my eyes and around my mouth to neutralize it and color correct and as you can see how quickly it neutralizes everything and brings it back to your skin tone so now if you apply a concealer or foundation over it it will not have that gray tinge to it but before that let's lightly set it with some powder i'm going to be using lasting fix powder from maybelline now if you don't set this lightly it's going to mix with the foundation and your foundation will change color it's going to look more orange so it's better to set it very lightly with powder before you apply anything else over it for foundation i'm going to be using the milani screen queen in the shade 350 this has a light to medium coverage and it blends seamlessly as you can see whether you're using a sponge or a brush usually when i color correct i like to use a sponge because i press in the foundation and you're not moving the product inside but if you use a brush sometimes the bristles pull the orange from inside and mix it with the foundation um, so i like to use a sponge and this is blending beautifully it blurs out imperfections it evens out the skin and it also gives that luminous natural finish Kim Kardashian is the queen of contouring so I'm going to be using the wet n wild contour stick in call me maple and I'm going to be lightly contouring in areas where I want my face to appear more shrunk so that's going to be my forehead the hollows of my cheekbones my jawline and my nose Kim Kardashian, I feel like, is the one who made the whole contouring and sculpting really popular on social media. I remember when I started my YouTube journey and I just started posting on Instagram, I felt like everybody looked like Kim Kardashian. I don't know if it's just me who felt like that or you guys also feel the same way, so let me know. Anyway, moving on, I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer in the shade 145 again to sculpt the face, but this time to conceal and highlight. So I'm going to be using it mostly in the high planes of my face. You guys are probably wondering if this is the only concealer that I'm going to be using for my life. Uh, looks like it because I haven't found anything else that is better than this. If you feel like there is something else, I've tried everything from Tarte Shape Tape to drugstore concealers and everything in between. And nothing suits me like this concealer. You know, concealer is such a personal thing, I feel. This doesn't crease on me. It's very easy to blend and dries also quickly. And it doesn't settle in the fine lines and it's just so beautiful so if you have any other suggestions let me know maybe i've already used it maybe i haven't so just let me know in the comment section below i'm going to set this with some powder i'm using the lasting fix powder from maybelline again first in areas where i applied the concealer and then i'm going to take a light brush and i'm going to just dust it around so my entire face sets And now to make the powders melt and look more like skin, I'm going to be using a setting spray. This is the Fruit Fetish from Milani. They have different flavors and all of them smell so damn good. It keeps your face smelling fresh throughout the day. And this will also help to keep the makeup put. It doesn't allow it to move, so it locks it in. 
For my brows, I'm going to be using this brow pencil from Folklore. After a long time, I'm using something that's not Benefit. Benefit, as you know, is my favorite brow product. But even with this pencil, there is a spoolie. So I'm just going to use that to brush my brow hair downwards first so I can clearly see on top and fill that in. And then again, brush my brow hair upwards and fill in the lower part of my brows. And I'm pretty sure you must have already observed I toned down my brows to match up with her. Her brows in this picture are so light and mine was so thick and dark so i just toned it down by bleaching it let me know if you like this better on me or you like the thicker more darker brows better on me so let me know and to feather it out like her i'm going to be using the jordana brow gel this is a clear brow gel so i'm just going to use the spoolie to brush my brow hair upwards and outwards uh, this has no color to it it's clear so it's not going to add any extra color to your hair her eye makeup is super simple, super polished. It's a sultry brown smoky eye. And I'll show you the easiest way to pull this off. Now, usually you use a lighter color concealer on your lids to even it out before you apply an eyeshadow. Here, I'm going to be using a darker concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I'm just going to apply it on my lid and spread it out like you usually do with any concealer or primer. So that'll take care of half of your smoky eye. It gives you that brown base for a brown eyeshadow. And instead of setting this with powder, I'm going to set it with a brown eyeshadow. The one that I'll be using is from the Rosé All Day palette. This is from Physician's Formula. I'm just using a light brown shade to set my lid. And then I'm going to smoke out the edges so it looks soft and well blended. Here I'm using a lighter shade of brown. You can go deeper if you like, usually for the festive season. I just want my look to look as natural as possible maybe i just use a little bit of gold sometimes but other than that i keep it very simple and very natural looking especially for the eyes and i go bam on the lips like a red lip or a berry lip and as you can see i'm pushing the eyeshadow in the outer corner as well just like she has done and that'll give an illusion of elongated eyes i'm going to be smoking out the same eyeshadow in my lower lash line as well and for that i'm using a small fluffy flat shader brush she doesn't have an eyeliner instead she's used a deeper shade of brown at her lash line so i'm going to be doing the same i'm taking this deeper color of brown and I'm going to be applying it very close to my lash line, almost like an eyeliner, using a small definer brush. This one's from Folklore. And then I'm going to take a blending brush and blend the lash line out with the other lighter brown shade that I used on my lid. So there's a seamless flow of deeper shade to lighter shade. In my waterline, I'm going to be using a brown eye pencil just like she has. The one that I'm using is from Milani. Using the Revlon Prismatic Highlighter, I'm going to highlight my inner corners as well as brow bones and later use it to highlight my face. Let's finish up with some mascara and lashes, but before that I'm going to curl my lashes. And for mascara, I'm using the new Rosé All Day Mascara from Physicians Formula. She always goes big on her lashes, so I'm going to be using Sarah from Carity. These are beautiful lashes and pretty much give the same effect as hers. With that, we finish the eye makeup and here is the completed eye look. Now let's get back to the face and finish up. I'm going to first use the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster in areas where I contoured my face just to set it lightly because after I applied the powder and set my face, I felt like it became too mellow. And as I explained, Kim Kardashian is the queen of contouring, so I don't want to disappoint her. So I'm going to be using the bronzer to set in areas very lightly where I applied the contour. You can barely see a blush on her so i'm going to be using something very light this one's from folklore i'm using the matte one and i'm using it very lightly on the highest points of my cheeks she definitely has some nice highlights going on on her face so i'm going to be using the revlon highlighter again on the highest points of my face on a side note i'm interested to know how you all are celebrating christmas because 
with us this year it's going to be quite different usually we have a large gathering but you know how it is this year so we are just having a couple people my husband's brother and sister-in-law and their kids come over so it's going to be a very intimate family gathering and that's pretty much it On her lips, she has a timeless staple, a red lip. She's using the classic red cream lipstick from KKW and I'm going to match it up with a drugstore dupe. Wet n Wild recently launched their Mega Last High Shine as well as Matte Lipsticks. I'm using a classic red from their Matte Lipsticks. This one's called Red Velvet. But before that, I'm going to be lining my lips. I'm using the Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner again from Wet n Wild and Red the Scene. For hair, I decided to go with poofy hair with a low bun, but you can do whatever you like because no matter what you wear with brown smoky eyes and a classic red lip, you're going to look good. And my statement earrings are from a small boutique in San Francisco. It's called Covet. I used to buy so much accessories from there, you guys. They have beautiful vintage pieces especially. And vintage pieces are more artsy and they are big and they look so beautiful and timeless. So yeah, here is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know by giving me that big fat thumbs up. And if you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe. I post new videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. If you plan to recreate this look, please don't forget to tag me. My socials are listed down below in the description box. And to help you with the recreation, I've listed all the products that I've used in the description box right below this video as well. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.